Welcome to PowerCat Live. I'm here with my fellow PowerCat, Taiki Yoshida. Hi, Taiki. Hello. So, Taiki, before we get into talking about Express Route, talk a little bit about your, you know, how'd you get to PowerCat and your journey through Microsoft getting here? Yeah, so I've uh, joined Microsoft since 2018 as a, a technical salesperson, and I transferred over to this PowerCat team uh, back in 2019 in the summer. That's a pretty quick move. We in PowerCat, we work with enterprise customers, right? And sometimes those enterprise customers have network security requirements. Tell us, yeah. uh, what is ExpressRoute and what role does it play for these types of customers? Yeah, that's a good question, Phil. So before you even get into the like the nit grits of you know Express Route, you need to kind of know the like, general understanding about how the internet works. So let me just explain to you a little bit about that. And so basically, you know, when you connect to anything, if you want to search on Bing or if you want to go on Azure or if you want to go on a Power Platform, you know, you have you type in maybe like make.powerapps.com, right. right? And when you access that you're basically hopping over these all these different computers and network equipment before you even reach the service that you want to connect to. So let me just, you know, um, quickly show you uh, what I mean by that. So, you know, um, if you open up any device on your Windows and try to open up a command prompt and type trace RT, and then you type in the address that you want to connect to. And this is a screenshot of me connecting from um, Seattle, connecting to one of the servers in Microsoft here. And you see all these different hops and yeah. we, we call this hops and you see uh, from the first one, it's basically my IP address of my router and it's basically hopping over to these all these different uh, networking equipments and computers before it reaches the last one, which is the um, you know, service that is used to access www.microsoft.com. So as you can see, you know, if you want to connect anything on the internet, you're basically hopping over all these different uh, networks. And for example, you know, I come from Japan and if you try and actually do this um, from my home server in Japan, uh, this is the diagram I can show you. It's basically, you know, from me where I'm living now, accessing the servers in Japan, it's basically hopping all these different networks and then finally reaching to Tokyo and then to the place where I live. So as you can see, it really hops around quite a lot of places. Now, this could get into kind of you know, a complex uh, scenario for any financial uh, people, if you're in the mm -hmm. government sectors, you know, you, you need to have, you know, highly regulated scenarios where you need to kind of prove to the auditors or um, whoever you're going to prove to that your connections are secure. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, internet is not, you know, always the best place to uh, kind of prove that. It's, it's kind of difficult to do that. And so when you set up Express Route, what are you mm -hmm. setting up, right? Is this like setting up a VPN to yeah. ensure privacy? You know, what, what is it really? Yeah, it's similar to VPN, but VPN is still um, like an extra layer of um, security on top of the internet network, whereas the express route is a, literally a designated connection. So uh, let me just show you this little diagram here that I got uh, about express route. So, you know, typically in, from customer network, what you do if you're having a public internet, you have this green um, connection directly to uh, public services. Whereas if you're having an express route, you basically have to go through this place called the partner edge, which basically is like your uh, network provider, and then has a designated connection to Microsoft's mm -hmm. data centers, and then it reaches uh, whatever service you want to connect to. So, you know, as you can see, it doesn't, uh, from here, if you try and do a trace route with this, it basically hops directly to the Microsoft's network instead of going hopping over all over the places. And that's basically express route in a very uh, um, overview kind of way of speaking about it. And so if it has fewer hops, does, does that mean it's faster? Well, kind of yes and a no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, that's a difficult question, Phil. Um, so in terms of um, having an overhead of different you know, hops in uh, places, yes, it does get improved because you don't have as many hops. But if you're talking about um, natural like download speeds, upload speeds, that really depends on mm -hmm. your network equipment. That also depends on how much um, uh, contract you've made with Microsoft in terms of network speed mm -hmm. of the express route. So that kind of, you know, um, is the two places that it needs to be covered. Yeah. So what is the real primary benefit of Express Route then, right? Why would someone pursue this as opposed to mm -hmm. Power Platform the way it exists today? Yeah, that's also a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, I do recommend it only if you really need an Express Route. Um, 
And yeah, because it's it's really complex uh, to configure all this. Um, I'll talk about the configuration later, but you have to have a thorough knowledge of the infrastructure. You also know, need to know a lot about um, how the network uh, goes through all these uh, services. You also need to know about you know mm -hmm. Azure. You also need to about you know about Pat platform architecture as well. And it's really difficult to set this up. So only if you see the benefit of um, in explaining to your third party auditors or provide providers uh, who wants to check if you have a you know secure connection then um express route is probably the option for you so generally if you're you know uh, a normal customer you probably don't need to use express route and and to to clarify something you said there right does this mean yeah. that power platform is not secure without express route it is secure. It, no, it's secure without <laughs> Express Route. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, all the encryption you have, the you know, yeah. SSL connections you have through the internet. That's it, basically pretty much the same way as you usually use for your uh, internet shopping. You know, yeah, if you go anything. on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not secure. Uh, it's just a way of proving that you're having a direct connection rather than going through all these different places. So yeah. this is really about compliance requirements for a very, very specific set so, yeah. of, of customers. That exactly. Makes sense. Yeah. And so, uh, what are the things you would need to do to set up Express Route? So there are several things that you do need to kind of understand before you uh, jump into the Express Route uh, bits and pieces. One of the things that um, will be critical, I suppose, is to uh, work with your connectivity partner. Mm -hmm. So basically, you know, at home, you know, when you're making um, an internet connection, you always have a contract with your internet provider, right? So it's it's a similar way. There's also a thing called a connectivity partner specifically for Express Route, and it's usually globally um, located in you know, all the places. So if you're living in the US, you have a set of uh, companies who can help you with that, and you basically uh, reach out to them to set up this um, Express Route network because they basically set it up so that it goes directly to Microsoft data centers. And it's kind of your responsibility to set it up so that it reaches those net network connectivity partners. Got it. That's one thing that you, uh, you know, out of a, a several uh, set up that you also need to do. The other thing you also need to understand is about the types of Express Route. It's not just one type. Um, so let me just uh, talk to you about that. So there are two types right now. Uh, one's called Microsoft peering and a private peering. And the ones that you can use for the Power Platform is only Microsoft peering at the moment. Um, there is a roadmap that it's going to be working with private peering in the future. Um, but at the moment in time, it's only for part Microsoft peering. And I'll talk about um, what are the kind of the things that you also need to understand for Microsoft peering later. And the other bit is the BGP communities. Um, that's the other bits that is like specific to Express Route, I suppose. So when you set up uh, you know, the connections, um, you're basically, when you're accessing like www.microsoft.com, you firstly interpret that into an IP address. And basically the, all your networking equipments kind of need to understand mm. where that IP address um, you know, access is going to. So uh, BGP communities kind of help you um, about a set of IP subnets that has been advertised so that your routers know where your network uh, needs to go to. So it doesn't have to, you know, if you don't set this up correctly, what happens is that it could actually go through from the internet um, connected connection instead of going through that express route, which is, uh, you know, the whole point point. because you, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's something you also need to kind of understand as well. So as part of the, this, you've written a pretty lengthy document that goes into how to use Express Route with Power Platform. What yeah. are some of the common misconceptions that people have, including I had 30 minutes ago as we were preparing for this, uh, <laughs> that are clarified in that document? Yeah, so uh, one of the things is that um, Express Route itself doesn't make it uh, you know, extra secure. It doesn't have like an encryption. Well, Express Route does. It, um, th there is an additional stuff that you can set up to make it encrypted. But in general speaking, Express Route is not an additional encryption layer as such. It's just a designated connection. It's like wiring your um, network directly to Microsoft. And that's basically the concept. So that's uh, one misconception you know, that happens quite a lot. The other thing is that, um, you know, I mentioned about Microsoft peering and uh, a common question is, does it, does your network uh, connectivity go directly to, for example, power apps or power automate or power virtual agents? And the answer is actually no. Um, that is also, you know, um, a kind, kind of point that uh, yeah. often people make mistakes. DIY. Microsoft yeah. peering only makes uh, the network private up to reaching out to the Microsoft data centers. 
So what that means is once it reaches the data center, then it just gets trafficked you know, normally, it gets routed normally as if it's a normal connection from the internet as well. So inside the Microsoft network, it's just a normal connection. So it doesn't have it like a direct you know, connect, connection to the actual services itself. Makes sense. Yeah. So that's also the other uh, misconception there. Mm. But once it's all in the data center, I'm sure it's, you know, it's, there is. Yeah, obviously, is yeah. I'm not secure, saying it's right? not secure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 that's totally, no. <laughs> um, it is secure. Uh, I'm just saying that it's not a direct, you know, private connection to the services that you want to connect to. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Uh, so we'll put a link to the description in the description to this document produced, but, you know, what, what should people go there looking for? Yeah, so it's kind of an end-to-end, -end, you know, comprehensive list and all the documentations you really need to set it up the the Power Platform and the Express Route together. So um, definitely have a read if you are interested in setting this up. Um, it ha even has a checklist as to what kind of things you need to be careful of and the the points that and the misconceptions that I just mentioned today yeah. is all covered in the document and it's, it's over forty pages long, so um, you can't miss any other bits and pieces. There. <laughs> Set aside some time for it, but it's worth it. And there really isn't anything like this that I've seen that really covers Power Platform Express Route like this. So it's it's a great asset to have. Thanks for creating it and thanks for taking the time to talk about it, Taiki. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>